Zoho announced the release of Zoho Tables, which is essentially Zoho's Monday.com application equivalent. Zoho CRM Kiosk is now publicly available, making it possible to build small but robust applications within Zoho CRM without needing to use code. And Zoho Projects now allows you to attach whiteboards to tasks. That way you can get a further shared understanding of the task at hand. In this video, we'll be covering all of this and more of Zoho's newsworthy announcements. Introducing Zoho Tables, the easy to use work management software. Okay, so Zoho is announcing this new application and essentially Zoho Tables is monday.com. So it's a pretty spreadsheet with a built-in workflow builder for better automation. And there's some interesting overlap here with Zoho projects in that Zoho is moving over to this tabular craze where monday.com has like this tabular format. And they've done the same thing with Zoho projects. Have you seen the new Zoho projects A updates? it's changed the interface that it looks more like monday.com as well. So it's interesting that they're rolling out Zoho tables to go off this concept even further. So the nice thing about Zoho tables as opposed to Zoho projects, which they have overlap and they're both um, what we'd call work management, which is essentially an application that helps you manage what you actually need to do an action plan. So the nice thing about Zoho tables as opposed to Zoho projects is it's more flexible. It allows you more flexibility, but with more flexibility comes a higher barrier to entry to actually properly use the application. And it increases the likelihood that you'll do things wrong. That's what's nice about applications like Zoho projects is you're plugged into a system that already works for waterfall project management style, um, for, for waterfall style project management. Whereas this gives you a blank sheet of paper. Yes, there's templates you can use, but ultimately it's more flexible, so it's going to be harder to use as well. Um, it's also new, so you're going to have uh, a lack of features and functionality up front. So my recommendation is you use Zoho Projects or Zoho Sprints initially, and then maybe play around with this tool, give it a year so that it's further developed. Okay, so this was my favorite part of the announcement in that it describes Zoho tables extremely well. So we're going to read it. Zoho Tables with a simple spreadsheet style interface empowers any user, irrespective of their technical expertise, to build their own solution. It lets you efficiently collect, organize, and structure data, establish relationships between data, and automate workflows. This simplicity combined with how Tables empowers you with complete control over your data and workflows is what makes it different. So here's the three different buckets for the ideal user of Zoho Tables. So if you have no centralized application to manage your work, if you are using a spreadsheet or if you underutilize sophisticated, expensive software, then Zoho Tables is for you. Now to get your eyes on how the application actually looks, you can see here is a Zoho Tables instance. You can see it looks like a spreadsheet. It's just prettied up. If you've ever used monday.com or if you've ever heard of monday.com, it looks pretty similar to the way monday.com is built out. So. Um, a couple of the feature highlights that we'll go over. So you can break work into tasks and assign them to your team, and you can add different custom columns as well, and you have 20 plus field types that you can use. Um, contextually collaborate in real time. So multiple people can join a space, and you can assign different people to different tasks, and you can all jump in and you can communicate on various tasks in real time, store any kind of work data structure and organize them. So essentially you can format this in any way you'd like, and then you can choose what fields are relevant to the things that you're trying to do or the things that you're trying to do. In addition, 20 plus basic field types, we also support machine learning fields such as sentiment analysis, keyword extraction. See your work in a whole new light. So you can see there's different views here. This is what I really like. I wish they had a Gantt chart view. They have yet to um, develop that, but I'm sure it's on the roadmap. You can do a Kanban view, calendar view, and a list view. So you're just able to view your work and your items in a smarter way with Zoho tables. Create smart relationships between tables. Um, you have different linking fields, which if you're familiar with Zoho CRM and custom lookup fields, this is essentially a custom lookup field in that you can create relationships between certain objects or tables within Zoho tables to other tables or objects. Automate your workflows in a snap. Um, there's a built-in workflow builder here, so that's where you have an advantage of using Zoho tables over a spreadsheet. 
import data from multiple sources. Now, this is what I think is really interesting is this is where I see there's a clear advantage over Zoho projects and that you're able to import data from multiple locations into the same table. That way you can actually take a step back with work management and not just see what's going on in projects or sprints, but you can actually um, backend multiple data sources into a table. Um, really what I'm seeing here is Zoho tables uh, is going to fill the gap for people who feel like Zoho projects is too clunky and too robust. And they need something more simple to just manage their work. That's where I can see Zoho tables having like a very strong use case over Zoho projects. Be productive even when you are on the go. There's a mobile application for Zoho tables and this is all available to you. I've yet to see that they've announced that this is gonna be a part of Zoho One. So for now, you gotta go check out their pricing, but it's pretty cheap. You're not looking at anything expensive, yearly $4 per user per month. And then it starts at three, year, at three licenses. And then you've got a monthly option, which is $5 per user per month, which also starts at three licenses. So that is the pricing for Zoho tables and then my take on why you should care and why it can be helpful for you. All right, so we're gonna talk about Kiosk Studio. Kiosk Studio was announced a couple months ago for early beta access, but now it's available to everybody. So you can create and embed custom capabilities across CRM with Kiosk Studio, our latest no code tool. So you can think of Kiosk Studio as like the Zoho creator of widgets. So a widget, you have like, full control of the front end of a small application within Zoho CRM to do whatever you'd like. And so you code the front end and you code the back end. With Kiosk Studio, you don't have to code the front end. It's It already has a built-in out of the box um, UI UX. And so you just need to drag the fields that are relevant to whatever you're trying to build out. And then you can create the back end functionality so that whatever you build the kiosk to do, you can focus on the custom backend functionality and you don't have to worry too much about the custom front end. So here's the kiosk in action. And here are some use cases for using kiosk. So quickly send vouchers to a bank statements. That one's kind of weak. A car dealer added a kiosk to their CRM's homepage to add a lead and book a test drive in one shot. So you can see these are fields that are relevant to different modules but they're included in the kiosk interface so that you can fill it out in one place, click one button and the functionality is done. You don't have to jump from multiple modules to get something done. So this is a strong use case for kiosk. This kiosk brings in all relevant data from the CRM to make insurance policy renewal easier. Cool, so you can, dra you can bring information in from multiple different places within Zoho CRM into one view in this kiosk view, and then you can trigger whatever functionality you need to after an approval is done. Education Consultancies CRM has a kiosk to fill out a single application, leaving the CRM to take care of creating records across modules, sending emails, and so on. Cool. So to be able to fill out information from one place and bring in information from multiple places and then click one button to get something done is very powerful. A kiosk for sales development representatives to get their post-call actions done. Awesome. So if you have a cadence for outreach or prospecting, and every time you have a call, you need to fill out certain fields and information. It's great to just be able to do that in one place, not click to the task, not click to the call, not click to the notes. Um, just fill it out in one place, click a button, and it's all done for you. A kiosk full of useful capabilities for CRM admins. A CRM playbook kiosk providing tailored guidance to sales representatives. All of these are very um, interesting use cases for kiosk. Go ahead and check it out and go ahead and play around with it. The one thing I will note to you is when you use a, when you create a kiosk, the way that you trigger the, the kiosk to appear on your screen is via a button. So you have a button, click on that button and it will pop up for you. And then from there, you just fill out those fields and then you click the button um, that you've configured for the kiosk and then it will trigger some kind of functionality. So that's a quick and dirty overview of kiosk. It's now available to um, um, everybody. So you can jump in and create a kiosk today. Collaborate visually with whiteboard in Zoho projects. So the idea here is pretty simple. You're able to attach a whiteboard um, to a task inside of Zoho projects. And this is especially helpful for you, uh, for those of you who are doing work in the field and you need a visual representation in a whiteboard to see what's going on with the project. So previously that was not available. Now with whiteboard, you can sketch it out. In real time, you can uh, collaborate with different people in the whiteboard to get a shared understanding of the project. 
All right, we've got Radar App for Zoho Desk, new features to level up your on-the-go support experience. So we've got this application, Zoho Radar. So why should you care about Zoho Radar when there's already an app for Zoho Desk? It doesn't really make sense why there would be two different applications. Well, if you dig a little deeper into the idea be behind Zoho Radar, it starts to make a little more sense. So Zoho Radar is essentially a manager's tool for monitoring reports and making reports to see how things are going inside of Zoho Desk at a high level. So Zoho Radar is primarily an application for customer service operation managers. Zoho Desk and the Zoho Desk mobile application is primarily built for agents to actually manage tickets. So that's the major difference between Zoho Radar and Zoho Desk mobile application. Um, the nice things about this is you are able to, and that's already been out, right? The application's been out. Now there's an update here to be able to pin items in the Zoho Radar app. So you can go to your three dots, you can go to pin, and essentially you can build out this homepage for yourself with the different pinned information, dashboards, um, different places within Zoho Radar. You can just pin it so you can go to one place and see all of your pins and quickly access information that is critical for you. Zoho Radar also has a really sleek interface. So if you are a customer service manager and you need to view operations at a high level, this is the app for you. Enhancements to Zoho Finance Suite integrations. Okay, so this is this is pretty technical and pretty meaty, but I'm gonna go over the critical information because we get really into the weeds on the benefits here, but I'm just gonna gloss over the highlights so that we don't get too um, into the technical nitty gritty. So introducing integration users. So whereas previously sales personnel, which means a Zoho CRM user who's a sales rep, if they had access only to Zoho CRM and you were paying for Zoho Books and Zoho CRM as standalone applications, you weren't using Zoho One, the issue was a Zoho CRM user wasn't able to submit estimates and create estimates. Now they can with integration users. So as an integration user, you don't have to pay more per user. A Zoho CRM user will just have access to create estimates in Zoho Books from Zoho CRM. Now, I don't even recommend you do that because I recommend as a sales rep, you, especially when you're inside of Zoho CRM, to use the quotes module because it gives you robust quoting capabilities. That's what configure price quote, all those functionalities that they're rolling out, which they just made public, Zoho did. It allows you to create quotes with ease. And so if you wanna take advantage of those features, use a quote and then just use a custom button to push all that information over to Zoho Books as a sales order. That's the best practice from a bookkeeping perspective as well. So this is interesting. I just don't think it's exactly critical, but in certain situations, it's very helpful. All right, so next thing we're gonna go over here is unified permissions between Zoho CRM and Zoho Books. So for users with access to both Zoho CRM and Zoho Books, the integration will now ensure proper management of permissions. So the nice thing here is, whereas previously in Zoho CRM, you could give permissions to a user on what Zoho Books information they get access from Zoho CRM via the integration. The thing that you need to take away from here is now there's no room for discrepancies because they are synced. The permissions are synced across both applications. So it's a small thing, but it can be a big problem if someone can has no access to Zoho Books information in Zoho CRM, all access in Zoho Books. You wanna make sure those permissions are synced so there's no discrepancies and confusion for the users of your system. All right, introducing the Zoho Subscriptions module. Now this is awesome. So whereas previously Zoho subscription um, information via the integration to Zoho Finance only existed on a record details page in a related view, which you can see here, used to only exist like this. So you could just see Zoho subscriptions in relation to the record that you're actually in. Now there's a custom Zoho subscriptions module, which means you have access to all this data to create reports and drill down into the data and then see all the information instead of just in a related view, you can see it in a, a, a table view or a list view. All right, with that, got one other thing here. So these enhancements are being rolled out in phases and are now available to all users across all data centers, except for US data center. So those of you in the US hooked up to this data center, which you are, um, it is currently available to organizations on additions below enterprise. Why? I have no idea. This is happening in phases. So the next phase, they'll roll this out for everyone with enterprise as well. 
implement regular expressions in layout and validation rules. So uh, setting announcement here for regex, essentially what you're able to do here, if you don't know what a regular expression is, is a regular expression essentially allows you to format how data uh, should look. And if it looks a different way than the format you've um, instructed the system to validate, then it will make it invalid. So you can see here, um, as you add regex to a validation rule, you can specify this is what the information should look like. And if it doesn't look like it's in this structure, you have to use regular expressions in order to build a regular expression. Um, then it will throw up a flag and someone will not be able to enter information. So if you are familiar with regular expressions and people are putting in data in the wrong format, you can use regex in layout and validation rules. Zoho Writer now has a desktop application. So if you are a big Zoho Writer fan, there's more robust capabilities and interface with the desktop application. So go ahead and sign up for that. If you are a big Zoho Writer user, I am not. I love Google's workspace suite and Zoho is developing quite a bit their, their workspace applications. And I'll take a look at them, but I just, I'm just married to Google Docs. Marketing or marking electronic protected health information, preventing export of sensitive information. Here's how org, orgs, organizations can use data prep for HIPAA compliance. Okay, so you can now enable HIPAA compliance in Zoho data prep and mark data as electronic protected health information, allowing you to further secure your collected private health information. So that's the gist of it. Um, you can enable HIPAA compliance when you're inside of Zoho data prep. Unlocking the power of feedback surveys for business growth with the Qualtrics, with Qualtrics. Qualtrics is just a company for Zoho CRM extension. Now, the reason I included this is Qualtrics is actually just down the street from me. They're in Provo, I'm in Orem. So this is a local organization that now has an uh, integration extension with Zoho CRM. And essentially, Qualtrics allows you to take surveys, customer experience surveys, so that you can improve based on feedback you're getting from your customers. And you can also build an action plan within Qualtrics and do some other cool stuff. Now you can integrate Qualtrics directly with Zoho CRM via the new extension. Be informed with task notifications from Zoho People in Zoho Click. So I really like this in that within Zoho People, you can now configure notifications to push right into Click. So if Click is your main hub for communications, you can get notifications there. I really like this. I hope they roll this out across multiple applications. You can use Zoho Flow to do this, but it's just really nice to be able to do this within the application you are in. So you don't have to jump around and create workflows and notifications for Zoho Click within Zoho Flow. You can just do it on the back end of the application that you're already inside of. Now with that, that's the news and the news for the announcements um, that Zoho has made over the last week. If you are interested in any sort of training for Zoho, you already know it's super hard to use. There's so much going on in Zoho, it'll just make your head spin. So if you want access to higher level training and you want to understand how to best implement Zoho for your organization, you can do so for free using Z Training. I'll include the link in the description below. With that, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.